Right, here we've got a video for a Massey Ferguson 362. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive tractor fitted with a low-profile plus cab. Uh, also a fitted power loader and bucket on the front there as well. Um, very unique little tractor. Um, just 2,350 hours from new and in simply superb condition. Um, tracked as much as it came to me, only the load has been refreshed in terms of cosmetically with dull paint. Um, tracked as you can see here is on the wider tyres uh, with you know 50-60% tread is an absolute minimum. See there, obviously you've got a rear wash wipe on there as well. Track this, uh, this is the um, later four cylinder engine, not the early 360s, or whatever they were, with the um, three cylinder turbos, which were quite troublesome little things. And this, is, this uses the Perkins 236 block, um, so it's under no stress at all. Incredibly sweet revving, pulls absolutely beautifully, uh, doesn't smoke, starts absolutely first turn of the key each and every time. Tons and tons of hydraulic pressure, light power steering, even on tick over, even when it's hot. Uh, loader absolutely flies up and down. Um, cab's been fitted with air conditioning, and the tractor uses the 1212 shuttle gearbox, which is absolutely perfect for any loader operations. Um, I've had the tractor very recently serviced by an um, independent Massey engineer and it's using all original Echo Massey parts on the tractor. All the glass in the cab is completely intact. It is incredible in here. And the only sign of wear, you've got a tiny bit of throwing on the driver's seat which after 20 odd years, it's got to be expected. In all honesty, I don't think you'll ever see a Ford Series cab in such good condition as this. I pop up inside. As you can tell, it's the later version because it has the electro hydraulic switches for the four wheel drive and the diff lock there. And um, you see with the four wheel drive. Get the clear away from it a second. Engaging and disengaging on there. Later design dashboard with the later the indicator stalk as well. Down on the side here, you've got your main gear lever. And this has four main gears, uh, but you can also change from low, medium to high range on the move, up or down. And on the side here, you've got the shuttle, so backwards and forwards. Um, so it makes the load operation an absolute double. Uh, what's lovely about it is the forward and reverse gears are, are corresponding and work at exactly the same speed. So you don't get suddenly, uh, um, you know, go flying backwards and reverse at a different speed to the forward speed. Up here, you've obviously got your switches for various controls, power lamps. Interior light works as you can see. Up here we've got your fan for your blower and your air conditioning. Around here we've got your radio and so it's all, all fully functional. Inside, side windows all work absolutely perfectly and we've got your opening roof hatch as well. Um, all vents, sun visors all in good order. Down here we've got twin spool valves and your massive hydraulic quadrant. And on the back window here you've got your rear wiper. You see that works all perfectly. And you've got some power points there as well for any, um, if you've got any requirement for that. Um, down on the left hand side of the driver's seat, your independent PTO lever and handbrake. Clutch, gearbox, PTO, hydraulics. Uh, gear change, you name it, it's absolutely perfect. Cannot, cannot fault it. Tractor drives absolutely bullet straight. 
gear change is slick, smooth, it's very, very car-like, there's hardly any movement to the gear lever whatsoever. But this one is an absolute cracker. the beauty of the 300 series as everybody knows is their lack of reliance on electronics so it was absolutely ideally suited to any farm work livestock mixed units um, yard duties or otherwise the small holder will get on brilliantly um, it's a quality outfit which is designed to last another 20 30 years absolute minimum um, parts are easily sourced for them everyone knows how to use these things work on them um, and uh, it's just a, a delight to own and maintain. As I said, anyone is welcome to come and view the tractor, uh, drive the machine, um, you, you simply won't fault the tractor. It's um, as good as you're ever going to see on a 300 series. Very, very few in this kind of condition, not just aesthetically, but mechanically as well.